All right, y'all, today we are talking about how to landscape a shady garden. I know so many folks that don't know the first thing to do in a landscape that receives full shade. And there's plenty of options. A lot of it has to do with texture and contrast. And let's take a look at what we have here. So this is a very shady space, but we have picked a variety of plants that thrive in shade and even bloom in shade. A major issue I see folks have is they put blooming plants that want full sun in a shady space and they don't bloom. Stick to the full shade spectrum of plant selection. What we have right here are distillium that are going to bloom in the fall, beautiful red flowers. And these can create sort of a hedge. So we have a little flow of distillium, some ground orchids in the center. Now in here, we are planting our palladium bulbs, which if you pick up from the store, they're just gonna look like this. You wanna make sure when you plant these that the roots are going downwards. Then you'll have the caladiums pop up. So this will be seasonal, but these caladiums will have beautiful foliage through spring and summer. This entire center area is gonna be full of caladiums. On this side of the bed, we have a southern woodland fern. These will all grow about two to three feet tall and wide. Everything has just enough space to fill in and this entire bed is just going to be a full, beautiful, shady garden with these curves and these little rivers and streams of plants coming through. And this is the client's wind chime that we're going to create a base for. In New Orleans, we have a real variety of landscaping options. So our natives are some tropical and some that you might see in like a woody forest. Our landscapes sort of reflect that as well. We have the distillium, which is actually native to Southeast Asia, the Southern woodland fern, which is native to the Southeast US. And then we have this monstera that's gonna grow. It can grow up to 40 feet tall. I doubt it's actually going to get that big, but what it's gonna do in this landscape design is it's gonna create a nice focal point. So when you look out from the garden, you're gonna see this real nice flow of heights going from short to tall to tall where the monstera is gonna grow in, back to short. And then from all angles of the garden, you're gonna have some sort of interest. And this is a great example of what you can do with a shade garden.